Hi there. Now, if you looked at my earlier video on roots of quadratics, you'd have seen that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero being our quadratic equation. If it had roots alpha and beta, I showed you that the sum of the roots, that's alpha plus beta, turned out to be equal to minus b over a, and the product of the roots alpha beta was c over a. And then I took you further and showed you that if you had a cubic equation, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero, and it had roots now alpha, beta, gamma, then we got generally a very similar result to what we had here. That was that the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma in this case, was equal to minus b over a, and the sum of the products of pairs of roots, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma came to c over a. And the product of all roots was equal to minus d over a. So hopefully you can start to see a similarity that we achieved between these results. Okay. Now what I want to show you in this video though is we're going to take it further up to quartics. Okay. When we've got a quartic equation with our coefficients a, b, c, d, and e, it has roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, that I'm going to show you that we can create basically a similar kind of result as we've had in these examples before. That the sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to minus b over a, same as what we had here, the sum of the roots, okay, was always minus b over a. And then when we had here, okay, we've got now the sum of the products of the roots, but we're dealing with product pairs, okay, that is given by this result here. And that's equal to c over a, okay. Now here we have the sum of the products of three roots, okay? So we've got this result here, short for this summation, and it equals minus d over a. And then you've got the product of all roots equals e over a. So as I say, I hope you can start to see the similarity that we've got between each of these type of equations and the roots that we get. Now you might want to pause the video at this stage just to take this on board. But what I'm going to do now is show you though how to derive these results. Okay, so let's suppose then that you have got an equation, a quartic equation of the form ax to the power 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equaling 0. And let's say its roots then are alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So that means that if we were to factorize this, we would have something like this. x minus alpha times x minus beta times x minus gamma times x minus delta equaling zero. That would lead to each of these factors being equal to zero, which in turn would lead to x equaling alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Okay? So... What I'm going to do now is just expand this, okay, and then we're going to be comparing coefficients. So if we were to expand the last two brackets, you're going to get this result here, okay, that's when you expand these last two brackets. Check it out, okay, later on if you're unsure, okay. Then next I'm going to multiply x minus beta with all of this bracket. So if you'd multiplied x first of all, and then followed it with minus beta times all of those terms, you're going to get this long expression inside this bracket here, okay? Next, I'm going to expand these two brackets now. Multiply throughout by x, and then multiply throughout with minus alpha. And again, if you do that, you're going to end up with this very long expression here on the left, okay? And it equals naught to make it an equation. Right. Well, 
What I do next is group up the various terms, the x cubed terms, the x squared terms, the x terms, okay? So if you were to do that, again, you might want to check it out later, but you'll get this result, x to the 4 minus the sum of all the roots, okay, times x cubed, plus the sum of all the product pairs of roots, times x squared, minus the sum of the products of three roots, times x, and then plus the product of all roots. Okay, and that equals zero. So, what I want to do now is, let's just take this top equation, the quartic equation, number it one, and I'm going to divide all the terms by a. And if you do that, you're going to get this equation here. And I can compare this equation with this one here, okay? So I'm going to label these two equations, two and three, okay? So we've got equation two here, and we've got equation three here. And I'm going to compare the coefficients then between equation two and three. So we can see that we've got a 1x to the 4 here, 1x to the 4 here, okay? But when it comes to comparing the coefficients of x cubed, you can see that minus the sum of the roots, okay, is equal to b over a. So if I just look at the sum of the roots, that's going to be equal to minus b over a. So that's comparing the coefficients of x cubed. And we're using the sum of all the roots, okay, equals minus b over a. And similarly, if I compare now the coefficient of x squared, that's this bracket, with what we have here, c over a, then you can see that what we get is this result, that the sum of the product pairs of roots, okay, is equal to c over a. And if I compare the coefficients of x, you can see that the sum of all the products of three roots is going to be negative d over a. And that's here, okay, This using this notation. And lastly, we've got the constants here, okay, the product of all the roots clearly is going to be equivalent to e over a. There we go. All right, so a proof of those basic results. Now in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how we can use these results, how we can build up other quartic equations built on relationships between these roots. Okay, so I hope you'll have a look at those. In the meantime, thanks for watching and Hopefully, catch you in the next video. Bye for now.